Mississippi River all the way from Minnesota. His 1,900-mile journey is all in the name of bone marrow donations. And today his journey ends at the Benson Cancer Center at Oxford Medical Center. And to tell us about his remarkable feat, we're very happy to have Steve Matchett as well as Madonna Phillips from the National Marrow Donor Program. Good morning to both Good of morning. you. Good morning. Well, Steve, I understand you left Minnesota and it was pouring down rain on June 9th. June 9th. Why did you decide to make this journey? I know some people who are involved in trying to get more people to sign up for the register. I worked for the Hendrick organization for 26 years. I retired in April. Mm -hmm. I've seen the Hendrick family, Mr. Hendrick in particular, do many, many good things to help people. And I wanted to do something to pay him back for all I've seen him do for other people. And he started this foundation because of, of, of his own yes. um, situation, he, his own illness. He had leukemia, did not need a marrow transplant, but became aware of how many people do need marrow mm -hmm. transplant. And has decided to do everything he can to raise the awareness and get more people on the registry. So as you've been traveling along, you've been going and getting, uh, talking to patients, you've been visiting hospitals? Yes. In fact, donors have tracked me down by following me on the web and have driven from miles away to come and sign the bike. Oh, and so tell us about this bike. This bike is affectionately known as the Silver Flash, mm -hmm. and as I've been going along and meeting donors and recipients, they get to sign the bike with this gold pen. And at the end of the ride, the bike is being donated to the Hendrick Merrill program and be the match, and they are going to use it for publicity, and they're going to auction it off, and it will have everybody's signature, including yours. Oh, I am honored <laughs> to be on this bike. I'm going to sign this bike. I only wish my sister Robin were here to sign it as well. That would, that would, that would be absolutely fantastic, the two signatures side by side. Oh, that would be beautiful. And, and Madonna, tell everyone about the need for the National Marrow Donor Registry. Well, as you know, with folks that have uh, blood diseases, sometimes the only hope is to get a bone marrow transplant. And we simply don't have enough folks on the registry to meet all the needs. Mm -hmm. So we are especially needing folks of uh, African American heritage because we only have 7% of the folks that are on the registry that are African American. So we really need folks to sign up, whatever your ethnicity, because we need you on there to help folks. And how is the drive going right now uh, across the country? Actually, we're doing pretty good, uh, and we can do better. We mm -hmm. can do better with folks that will come on and sign up. If you can go on, uh, be the match, look up where your location is at. All you have to do is put in your zip code and find a, a, a place near you that's having a, a bone marrow. And it's just a matter of having the inside of your mouth swabbed. You're in the registry so that if anyone anywhere in the world needs you, that's right. you can be there. And I am one who can attest that it is a simple act that can save a life. What is your message to, to everyone as well? The message that I, it's very succinct, get swabbed. Mm -hmm. Just find where they are running a program, sign up, get mm -hmm. swabbed, be in the registry, and hope that you get the call and you can save a life. Can I sign this right now? Oh, I'm so yes, very happy to do so. And, and what's going to happen to this bike? It is going to be given to the Hendrick Merrill program and mm -hmm. be the match. And they are going to, there we go. Oh, you got it? Oh, you can try this piece of paper here. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Well, my handwriting, I would have practiced my penmanship if I had known I was going to be asked for my autograph one day. So I'll sign right here. Press your heart. There you go. And add to this. How many names do you have on here? You are number 29. And you're going to get more today. We'll get more today. Well, it is a pleasure to be here with you and to have you here and, and the work you're doing. And we want to tell everyone that the this bicycle is going to be at the um, um, Ochsner Hospital this afternoon, or actually this morning. Uh, Steve Machette's um, bike ride ends at 11 o'clock this morning at the Yale and Tom Benson Cancer Center at Auctioner Medical Center. The address is 1515 Je Jefferson Highway. And to make donations or to learn more about the Merrill Quest or their partners, you can log on to our website, www.ltv.com, and click on Links on 4. We also want to tell you about these beautiful chairs. They are an example of what you can find at the 16th Annual Cherish the